Right over right. here, here's that punch. There's that. Yeah, right here, here's that punch. Yeah. Uh, your body is going to, to lean this way because you're turning. Now it's going to cause yourself to be unbalanced. Yeah, you see? Right, because his force is very strong. Right, so therefore he comes see, unbalanced. Right, to deal with this punch, Okay, you need to go on. Right, once you're turning with the force, it's like there's force going forward and you're twisting, you're going to twist where naturally. Right, because that's twisting is unstabilizing yourself, unstabilizing your body, like a tornado. Okay, what you need to do is you need to go lower. Right. Punch comes, right. Okay, somebody who's not trained, you know, maybe it doesn't have much power behind it. But for somebody who's trained, right, there can be a lot of force. Right, when there's a lot of force, at first, you shouldn't be resisting that force. Right, when you're resisting that force, punch, who is stronger? Depends. That's it. Okay, now punch. Yeah, you just allow the force to go through you. So to allow the force to go through you, okay, first your awareness has to go inside. Okay, your awareness cannot be projected toward that punch. Right, you're, you're projecting toward the punch and thinking about how to deal with the punch. That's not going to work. Then who is wrong? Okay, and second, now you're thinking about, okay, punch comes, how do you allow the force to go through? Okay, it's not that you empty everything out, like intentionally, like thinking about, okay, I'm empty, go through, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's not going to work. That's illusion. You create the illusion, okay, I just allow the force to pass me. Or in Tai Chi, you talk about yielding, right? Force comes, you redirect. But re realistically speaking, force comes, like somebody punches or somebody pushes, you redirect. No, his intention is here, not here. So if you're thinking about redirecting, it's kind of imagination, illusion. Because yes, if we're, we're friendly, we're doing push at or he throws a punch and I'm redirecting, no, he allows me to do that. Right, because his intention is not to, you know, go through me. Right, so under such cooperative condition, yes, you can turn, yield, you can block, yield, everything works. Okay, allow the force to go through, redirect. But then, he's, if he really thinks about how to attack me here, Okay, then I cannot be empty. I cannot think about allowing the force to go through. I need to think about how to condense my force. Right, it's like you go to, go out to the, to the battlefield, right? Before you can shoot your enemies, first you have to create a barricade. If there's no barricade, you're just going to be attacked before you can even attack back. So you need the barricade, and so you go under the barricade, you have proper protection. And then you can think about, is there an opportunity to shoot, to attack? So when he throws that punch, I need to go under, going under. Now here's the thing about going under. Going under is not just lowering your body. Okay, it has no use. If he wants to throw that punch, I'm lowering the body. If he doesn't really want to hit me, yes, it works. I lower the body, you see how it works? I lower the body, it works. But if he's going to throw something at a faster speed with more intention, I lower my body, you see? He's almost close to me, almost punched me. He didn't want to punch me. So therefore, I didn't get punched. But realistically speaking, I go down, oh, I can still get hit. Oh. I can still get hit. Oh. 
Still get it. Okay, so just this, no good. Okay, you need to condense. Yeah, pop. Condense. Right, so here you punch. Right, if I lower, oh, you see I almost get hit. My head is here. And he didn't even use full force or using real intention. But if he did, I would get hit. Oh, like this. And you think your hands can protect? No, it cannot. Right, your hands is very thin. Right, so he's going to go through your hands and flop the head. So now punch. Okay, condense. Right, you're still going to get hit. Right, anytime you make physical contact, you're going to get hit. But it's about how you get hit. Right, if you condense properly, you're able to absorb some of that impact. If you don't condense properly, you just go going up and down, you cannot absorb impact. Right, so earlier I talked about closing up, expect closing up, expect is to condense. Yeah, and then once you condense, now you're better able to absorb the force. And second, then you need to think about how to deal with this punch, how to create a circle. Right, so slow, punch comes. Now, if I create a circle like this, it's not going to work. Okay, when you do such things, you're not defending yourself. You are allowing your body to open up and get attacked. So, but then, slow, circle is here. From this circle, to something smaller, and then to something smaller. 